when the irix sails away Hi, my name is Jessie Lloyd, and I'm an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander musician, and I run the Mission Songs Project. And I want to talk to you about the song, The Irex. I get asked often, what is a mission song? Well, it's a song that was sung or composed on an Aboriginal mission, settlement or reserve during the mission's era. Now, the mission's era is from about 1901 of Federation to about 1967 with the referendum for Aboriginal rights. And during this time, there were certain policies and legislation that governed our people's lives, such as the assimilation policy or the white Australia policy. And these resulted in the removal of Aboriginal people from their traditional lands, the restriction of practising culture or talking language and the forced removal of Aboriginal children from their families, which we now know as the Stolen Generation. But I was curious as to what our people were singing during these times. Uh, you know, we all know the hymns that they were singing at church, but I wanted to know what they were singing after church on the six other days of the week. One day, my two aunties were at home. They were singing songs in the lounge room and, and they go to church, so they normally sing hymns. But one time they sang a song that wasn't a hymn and I, so I said, what's that song? And they said, oh, that's that old song from Palm Island about the boat called the Irex. And the Irex was the boat that used to transport Aboriginal people from Townsville over to Palm Island. And my family are from Palm Island and that's the Guy family. And Palm Island has a heavy history. Palm Island was set up as an Aboriginal settlement in 1918 under the Queensland Aboriginal Protection Act. And it was otherwise known as Punishment Island. Or it was set up as a penal colony. And a lot of Aboriginal families were sent there for petty crimes and, uh, or sometimes just for the crime of being a half-caste. And it was kind of an out of sight, out of mind. Australia's version of Alcatraz, if you could say. And I don't think our people really understood the policies and legislation that were governing their lives, but they knew about the boat. And they'd sing this song when they were saying goodbye to their loved ones that were being sent away. And it's a beautiful song. You can hear the sentiment of just wishing them well and, and hoping to see them again. And this song travelled, travelled all the way up the coast of Queensland. They used to sing the song in Yarraba, and the boat there was called the Ernest Gribble. And they also used to sing this song up in Thursday Island after the Second World War when they were evacuating the civilians. And that boat up there was called the Melbadeer. So these songs travelled and they were a way of letting people know that people were being sent away and they had to say goodbye. And when I heard this song, I just thought, you know, there must be more songs with other families and other communities around Australia. And it really got me thinking and curious about the Mission Songs Project. So the Irix is the song that kicked it all off. I learnt this song about just over a decade ago with Jesse Lloyd, and I'm really privileged to have been a part of that journey from there coming into Mission Songs. And it wasn't until I understood how I was directly linked to this song through my family and their story that I started to understand the significance of songs like the Irex that tell our story and document our history like we've always done, our oral history. One thing I really admire about our mob is the resilience in all of these songs. You can see it and feel it and understand how we all held each other up and in each other's care um, even if we didn't know them. I really um, see some of those things that still stand today with some of my family on Palm Island. When I've gone to visit and they just stand there and they'll do the Palm Island wave, which is the one that they stand there and wave until they can't see you no more. And I see things like this, and we always call it the Long Murray Goodbye to up here sometimes, and it's, um, it's a remnant of those times when you would say goodbye to people not knowing if you'll ever see them again, especially your children or any of your family for that matter. But, yeah, the IREX definitely holds all of those feelings and emotions for our mob.
when the irix sails away across the sea, leaving me so far away. No. When the Irix sails away across the sea, leaving me so far away, and all So farewell till we meet again in all my thoughts.